Hey guys, we're back with WoW. We're doing uh, Wrath Classic, because I don't really play much of uh, retail. Um, Let's see. We're getting Great Father Winter some milk and cookies. Uh, How many do you need? One glass of milk. One glass of milk. And then we get the cookies. Uh, How about... Let's see cookie and we need five okay so that's fine and there we have the cookies yeah on like retail usually it's like that stuff's way too expensive right it's just milk and cookies there's no reason why one thing of milk needs to be like a hundred gold there's no reason for that Hello, Great Father Winter. Here you go. For the horde. Let's see what we get. Oh boy. My dreams have come true. Light leather. Um I wait, I don't think I can get anywhere from Boring Tundra. I think I have to go to Alling Fjord. Uh, I didn't do all the quests there. I kind of went from, uh, was it, uh, New Agnum or whatever to, uh, Venom Spite in, um, Dragon Blight. So, I was gonna do more in, in uh, Howling Fjord, but I was like, well, maybe I want to go to, like, Zuldrak or something. Of course. Of course. Hello. There we go. Now an annoying little gnome. I don't know why people don't like us. Now when I voice acted, my voice can go really high. No, I, I don't like gnomes. They're hard to hit, and that's pretty much the only thing good going for them. Um, Anyway, so I'm up to 72, which... I did good. I got me my metamorphosis. Um, actually, there's one more in there. By 20%. What's it at right now? 2.4 minutes. So we should get it down to like two minutes even. Um, there's there's like no minor glyphs that I need. So I just got end ending breath, uh, end ending breath, and then drain soul, which. Just gives me an extra shard sometimes because I need shards, especially with my demons. You know, just even going through like the Nexus, there's like a uh, like a couple uh, cliff type things that you have to kind of dismiss them. Otherwise, they're gonna go around and like aggro everything. So you need you need shards. You need shards. Um, what else? I don't think I've gotten any new... Oh! Anka Hetton and Zul... Okay. Those weren't there the last time I looked. I gained uh, the level the last time and I looked and it was still only keep and Nexus. But these are pretty good. I mean, only if uh, you can get the quests for them. But... Hello! Fellow person! Um... Yeah, so we're just kind of go to, I guess we might go to Venom Spike. Uh, let's see, actually. Zoom out. So you can see I was just over here. Oh, yeah, we still have to do that. The head of high, the high general. Oh, yeah, no, that's one. I need a group for that. <laughs> no, not doing it. But look at all the quests here, though. I should go to, um, you know, the temple. But there's Venom Spite. Eh oh, right on time. Um, what was that? I saw something. Oh, okay. That's just the, uh, Okay, got it. Zuldrak. 
Grizzly Hills. Because here's where I could go, and then we can go to Grizzly Hills from there. Do a few. Then again, there's you can see there's really not a whole lot. A Zuldrak. I like Zuldrak. I use the quest there a lot. Um, Borean Tundra. No, that's not Borean Tundra. That was our base and can't wait to get to. But Borean Tundra is pretty self-explanatory when it comes to things. Meaning, like, um, it's a pretty wide open area. Kind of like uh, Dragon Blight. Where there's really not a whole lot of vertical challenge going on. Um, considering you can't fly or anything till like, what, 78? Uh, the less uh, time I'm spending being vertically challenged, the better. Um, but it's pretty much a wide open area. I remember, uh, was it yesterday? No. Was it the day before? I can't remember. It was either yesterday or the day before that. I did all like the new Hearth Glen stuff. And I haven't been to New Hearth Glen in almost 20 years. The last time I did New Hearth Glen quest was back in Lich King the first time around. And I just remember I would die and die and die. And then I would die some more. And just when I thought I was done dying, I would die again. And again, back then, I mean, it kind of looked like this. All the time, like all this fog and whatnot, but this is just because of the area. Uh, but it looked like that everywhere, so it was hard to see what was up ahead. My, um, for some reason, I didn't notice that things had stats on them. Um, so I was running around with like agility and strength, and for some reason, I would look and it'd be like I would just see like armor. I'd be like, oh, okay, it has it has more armor, so that should be good. Didn't even realize, notice that it had stats. I don't know how I went from level 1 all the way to, like, level 80, and I didn't realize it had stats on them. Uh, but I managed it somehow. I think there was at some point where I still had, like, grays or um, white, uh, white quality and... But it was crazy. But I remember doing that, and I would just die, and die, and die, and die, and die. And of course, back then, I was only playing... What? Oh, is that what it does? I just received a soul shard for nothing. For nothing. Um, but back then, I didn't have... You know, I was just playing on the, the mouse pad and all that. So... Playing the game was a lot harder than it was supposed to be. Um, all right, where are we gonna go? Do I want to go back to Dragon Blight? Probably. I'm listening. Let's go to Venom Spite. It's just easier. Because as beautiful as this place is. Like this, vertically challenged. I mean, I don't want to have to take that all the time. Um, what was I saying? Although I do love up here, like where the mountains are, where it goes into Grizzly Hills. It's just really, really pretty right there. But I don't. I don't want to. We could do a dungeon, test our luck, hopefully get one of the. The, uh, uh, one of those. Hopefully we get something good. 12 minute wait, but. Yeah, going through here the first time, I didn't get to experience it like this because all this was fogged up. You didn't see it until it was like right in front of your face. Actually, even now, I think I have it set on the lowest for that experience. Um... Yeah, graphics. Yeah, I have everything pretty much set to what it was back then to get that kind of feel for it. But even then, you know, it's not giving that fog that it used to have. I guess mainly it's because my computer is just too good, so it doesn't have to generate that fog. So. 
but I, I didn't get to experience like this the first time. And it's a shame because it really was when I, I remember seeing the launch, the, you know, the, the release trailer for it and all that. And I was like, wow, that looks gorgeous. You know, this really looks, you know, compared to questing around in, um, you know, Outland, which is, you know, you get to Hellfire and it's, it's all the same color. It's like all orangey and it, it's just... You know, you go to Zangermarsh and it's all like blue and it's just like they took like one color and just added it to every place. Uh, Nether Storm is just all purple and, you know, but here it's very diverse in, you know, here we have like forests and then we go have like these icebergs floating here and you have this Aurora Borealis. <laughs> um... And again, I think probably the most diverse place is probably uh, Shoalzar Basin. Because Shoalzar Basin, you know, you've got this little thing of uh, where all the waters converge. This little lake right there. You know, you have these snow-capped mountains over here. And inside, in the middle, is like this freaking jungle. This, like, hot jungle. Um, you got a normal little foresty area and it's just it's a very di for such a small zone it's very diverse when it comes to um climates and stuff like that the grizzly hills yeah but grizzly hills is just one of those places that's just gorgeous it's not fun to quest around i mean it's it's really not that fun to quest here it's just gorgeous and the music is really really good you know, when you want a relaxing place, um, you know, when you, when you want a relaxing place to just kind of go and chill out and stuff like that, Grizzly Hills is gorgeous. I, you could imagine yourself in real life if a place like that existed, and you had that music going. It'd be perfect. I mean, there obviously it's based off real places, some of them. Um, but where Arthas landed, where he started his campaign in Northrend, because he was on a mission. He was on a mission to get to the Frozen Throne, and Illidan's like, I'm not having any of this, and I'm going to fight you, and he's like, okay, or, uh, Illidan, you can fight me. And then Illidan loses. And Illidan's all like, ah, 10,000 years of this. And I lost. Okay, what do I want to do? Let's go. Uh, yeah, let's go to there to Wormrest Accord. We're on the road to Viridian City. As you can see, it's like I said, not a whole lot of vertically. Like, there it is, right there. <laughs> Isn't there a quest that was around here that you had to do? I don't remember. I remember there was a... Oh, no, it's down all the way over there. Yeah, 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 there was a quest that I had to do ages that I did ages ago and there's like a circle you have to stand in or the guy standing in there I, I don't remember the quest exactly um yeah I remember dying so many times because it's like I think the guy's standing in the middle and then there's like waves of enemies coming after you and then like he transforms or something and uh it was just a pain it was a pain but it was it's pretty around here as you can see a lot not like a whole lot of stuff in the middle um the mirror of dawn worm rest accord the worm rest temple where rest the worms? Hello. 
stable master. Oh, come on, just get on the freaking ice. The snow, whatever you want to call it. Oh, right. Actually, got. Is there anywhere I can. Con okay. Okay, so I could go to Borean Tundra. I can. I can. I can. I can. All right. All right, so I think I can. Is there any other. Um. Go over there. Get that one. The Tonka Zone. Uh, yeah, just straight that way. Leave me alone, please. Now, I just want to kind of want to open up uh, the. Flight paths and all that. Okay, so that. Can I go through the Ruby Shrine or is it too dangerous for me? Leave me alone. Get away. No one wants you. Everyone hates you. Just go. Gotta stop following me at some point. All right. Let's see if we can get through here without dying. Is that okay? Never mind. Those are flowers. Uh, this. Uh. Of course. Of course. Excuse me, sirs and or madams. Alright. Actually, this is over where the Azul, uh, Azul Narub and uh, Anka Het are, so... I think that's where I can get the quests for them. I don't know. I don't remember if it's this place or somewhere close. But I remember we're right near where it's supposed to, where it is, so. All right, now, where would those quests be? Um, Let's talk to you. No time. The Torn, the Tonka. How about this one? No. How about you? The eternal sun guides us. No. We will have justice. Um. Anything up here? Hello, anyone up here? No, I guess not. I'm gonna do it! I'm gonna do it! Ah! Um. Oh, right, it's right there. Never mind. Uh, I knew it was close by. Hopefully, I can get there. <clears throat> yeah, I think the person is like right outside the instance. So. Please let me get there. Just so I can have them. I may not even get put in there this time uh the first time around, but Here we go. Hello. Here we go. Hello. Enemy 
mean, Arthas. Achilles. Traitor to death to a traitor king. Uh, of course not. And don't forget the eggs. Why does it have to so much stamina though? That takes away a lot of freaking stamina, man. I mean, is that even? All right. Well, you can just do this until it stop uh, starts, which is I don't know why there's only. It said it was like 12 minutes, and here we are at 11. One. Two. Yeah. Back in the day, this would have taken me forever. I wouldn't be killing things this quickly. Also, I think back in the day, I was, I wasn't aware that the um, things didn't up the up uh, upgrade or not upgrade, but replace themselves automatically. So I think for the longest time, I was using like rank one shadow bolt and all that. Because even now, that's it's like once you get a different rank. You know, it should just automatically do it. But there are some reasons why you wouldn't like that. You know, uh, in healing uh, raid situations, uh, the heals will actually use the lower mana cost healing spells uh, because they're faster and stuff like that, rather than more current. You know, the up to date ones uh, where it's a lot of mana being wasted and stuff like that. Especially when you've got like three, four healers going on. Uh, Sometimes those lower cost healing spells are just more effective. And actually, no, there's one down here, I think. I'd rather get that one. Yeah. Of course. Well, we've got Seed of Corruption, so it's fine. And I think there's another quest that has you going around collecting those. All right. What is this now? Broken husk. Oh, wait, is that down this way more? Or down this way? Okay, I thought he was gonna come after me. I don't have any nope. No mana potions. <laughs> Ooh. I don't want to go on the way them there again.
What are we just waiting on a tank? Of course. Of course. Of course, because why wouldn't we? Um, not here, is it? Ah, jump back down. <laughs> so, run for your lives. Huh. Huh. Well, that's good. Well, that's good. Take that off. Holy Lucrum. Well, that's good. We're at the very place that I wanted to be. Because now we can get those. I, need to target something first. I honestly thought it was going to be one of the other ones. I didn't actually think I would get the very dungeon that I get to have the quest for right now. Fortuitous, really. And they're really quick, because, like, the, the, the quests are, like, right here, because there's, um, like, right here, there is the eggs, and then the place itself isn't very long. So, it's works out well I mean with a good group this is a fairly quick dungeon because right here's the first boss and then immediately after is like the second boss um, so it's that's why I like this dungeon they're just it was nice and fast and these because I need them all right first quest done first quest done I like to know why he's taking so much damage even though he's not the one tanking So let me do that. Get out. There we go. This kingdom belongs to this girl. Only the dead may enter. All right. Go ahead and do that. Got a plan for the future. Now, <sighs> I'm still using a pretty, yeah, level 60. It's just how often staff, uh, staffs drop for me, or how often I can find them in the, like, there's some in the auction house, but they're like three, four hundred gold. I'm like, I'm not gonna spend that. Like, I have 400-something gold right now. It's just, I'm not doing that, though. Actually, let me... Seed of Corruption first. Just because Seed of Corruption is good. Yeah, like, here, we just fought the first boss, and now the second boss is going to be coming up here. Oh, it's a really quick place. And then after that, we're going down there, and then we just jump down, and then pretty much we're at the final boss. Oh, 
I don't like spiders. Yeah, I don't get why that comes up. You aren't in a party. I'm not doing anything that would require... Now, why does it say I'm not in a party when clearly I am? Clearly. All right, come on. I think they're just kind of like, oh, let's just let him take him out a little bit. But then he just heals himself, so. Are we gonna go now or something? Anytime. Anytime now. Yeah, this boss is only annoying because with the ads, uh, they heal him. So once they start, you know, coming to him and he's like, nom, 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 nom. Uh, it's just really annoying because then it's just hard to beat him because he's just constantly healing. But. Of course, because why would I get anything? Why would I get anything? Instead, I have to buy all my freaking gear. I have to buy it all. So I would have had well over a thousand gold at this point or whatever it is to get cold weather flying or whatever. Nope, I have to spend all my money on gear because it certainly doesn't drop for me. I think the staff was a drop, but here I am level 72, 73, still have it. Yeah, 72. It's a level 60 staff. I still have it. And here we are, the final boss. Here we are now, the final boss. <laughs> 50 degrees. 50 degrees it is right now. It's not freezing, it's not hot, it's just kind of cool. Cool, man. You dig? The traitor king, Anubarak. Anubarak. Most of these places I don't even remember doing when I was doing the first time. Honestly, I don't think I did. I think most of the time it was my friend who was running me through all these things, but she kind of just picked the ones that were just easier to run through. Uh, so like uh, the ones in Howling Fjord, you know, so Pinnacle, stuff like that. Heap. Uh, the Nexus was really easy. Um, this one was, but she didn't really feel like going all the way over here to do it. Um. What? How do I? There. You might want to step inside there, buddy boy. That thing's going to close and you're going to be out here. Yeah, seriously, step in. There you go. Congratulations. You are a winner. Anyone? Okay, good. Everyone is in and accounted for. Oh, no wonder why. We've got a level 76 and a level 80. 
No wonder why. I was like, why are things like, why is he going down so quickly? Well, that's because it's, you know, level 80. Level 76. You know, if I really want the full experience of it, I really should, like, do all the stupid crap that you do when you first start out. Like, just stand in everything. Whether it's beneficial or not, you just stand in it. That's what a real person would do if they're trying to relive that experience. It would just stand in everything. Hey, there's fire on the ground. Stand in it. You know, can't just stay out, can ya? Wow, that 25 30 seconds goes by real freaking fast. That goes by real fast. Alright, this last one, this last should be the last one. There we go. Oh my god, I, I can't afford to lose stamina. Oh my god. Wow, it felt good getting those done. Like, seriously. It felt good. I'll just go for the money then. Because I can't afford to lose any more freaking... No... Where's late? And it seems like so much, and really, look how much it gave me. But hardly... I mean, I did start with nothing. Because when I, I logged in, I, I didn't have anything. I just leveled up and all that the, pre, uh, the last time I played. Um, but all that, I only got this. It's ridiculous. Ah... <sighs> I think I'll probably just stop right here. Yeah. I think I will. I think I will. I know it wasn't a lot, but it's fine. Um, I did a dungeon, so there's that. And I did the little questing here. But, um, I lost. Oh, yeah, I got to go back there. Anyway, yeah, that's going to do it for me. You guys know the drill. I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.